Hello everyone, Nadlabs here. Today we're going to be making a very simple rope in the Godot game engine. Of course, this is not the best rope in the world, and in fact, it's not the greatest. If I push it like that, the rest of the rope will follow afterwards. It doesn't follow right away. So yeah, that's the rope we're going to be making. And uh, if you want to make something like this, feel free to follow along and let's get right into it. I just want to make a quick disclaimer. The way to make the rope is kind of tedious, and the reason I'm making this tutorial is because I found or I had some help finding the way to make it not so tedious. So I actually made three different scenes. I made a rope scene proper auto and you can see it did not work. I made a rope scene proper and then I made a rope scene. The reason I made these three is because in fact I'll just show you. So if I delete this, go over to my game scene, collapse this, right? And if I go over here to rope scene dot rope scene dot tscn which is just scene and i instance this rope in you can see something weird happens um seems normal and then it starts to do that and that and when i hit it it doesn't make any sense whatsoever the reason i have this rope scene that doesn't even work and the reason i left it in this tutorial project on the github repo down below is because i really wanted to see what would happen if i put a rope base in between a pin joint and another rope base now, this is how you actually make the rope. You just have a rope base, pin joint, rope base. What's a rope base? A rope base is a rigid body 2D uh, set to a special size, and that's all you need. Now, what is a pin joint? A pin joint is actually a node in the Godot game engine, like create new node. If you type in pin joint, there's a 3D one and a 2D one. And you can see that I just used a 2D one because I'm using a 2D scene. And that's all we have. Now, when I go over here to my... Uh, script i'll show you where the magic happens so this is these two lines were actually the ones i had um help with and i actually have to appreciate uh hal dyer or hail dyer on the godot discord server because they really helped me with this part i did not know about that part and i just want to give a thank you to them so the way this uh script works is that you have to loop over the children in this uh, scene and you can see there's a lot of them now why do we have to do that it's because the pin joint is the crucial part which allows us to connect two points. So if I, in fact, this is already broken, so it doesn't matter if I break it anymore. So you can see I have one pin joint like this, then I have another like that, and then I have one like this. What will happen is that the pin joint will actually connect this rope base to this rope base. So if I rotate or if I move this one, the pin joint will actually keep or make sure this one is affected in a proper ropey way. And the only way I can explain that is that it will act like they're connected. That's the best way I can explain it. So what we have to do for this loop to get this rope to work is we have to say for i in range one to get child count minus one. And now I, I really want to make another disclaimer, which is the way you set up a rope is very hard coded. You cannot set it up as dynamically as you want. So you have to have a rope base followed by a pin joint, followed by a rope, followed by a pin joint, followed by a rope base. You have to have that or else this won't work. And the reason is because when we loop over one to get child count minus one, what we're doing is we're basically saying that we want to make sure that the object we're going to be getting starts at the pin joint and ends at the pin joint. We don't want to grab uh, these things over here because we actually get an error and I'll show you where the error occurs. So we start off in the loop by defining a previous object, which is going to be a get child i minus one. And, the, and this is where the error is. I just talked about it like 10 seconds ago. The error is if we started with zero, i minus one is negative one and Godot's like, what is negative one in an array? And it will actually just crash and say, nope, not doing this. Same as the case when if we go over here, if we didn't do get child count minus one, it would go to rope base uh, 19. It will go try making next object, which is actually get child i plus one. And it just occurred to me that these should actually be in here, inside of this uh, is statement. Because we want to make sure we create the variable if it's inside. And that should be outside. So this is the final form. And this will be all on GitHub like this. Yeah, I guess that leads me to explain this line again. So we're actually going to be making a variable called object, which is going to be equal to get child i. Get child i just means when we're looping through this, we're just going to get this one. So this is number one so if this is number zero one two three right we're just going to go through these and this object is going to take on the properties of i it'll actually become i so whatever get child i is it will become that 
So we can use it as if it is a pin joint 2D or if it's a rope based 2D. But we want to make sure we talk to the joint 2D. So we're just going to say if object is joint 2D, then we're going to make sure we're going to get these variables. And then we're going to say, we actually don't need this. Um, then we're just going to, we don't even need this. We're going to say that object dot node a, and node a is actually a property inside of the pin joint. And you can see it's the first body attached to the joint. Node a is going to be equal to the previous object dot get path. And dot get path is really what threw me off is because if you go to the documentation for the pin joint, you can see that node a will actually take in a node path. And for some reason, I didn't occur to me that you could actually do dot get path and you would get the path of the actual node you're talking to. So that's that. And object dot node b, which is going to be the second one, right? It's the same thing. It takes in a node path and row node b is going to be the second body attached to the joint. And yeah, that's all you have to do. And you might be wondering, well, if that's all we have to do, why isn't this one working? Well, it's because of the way the pin joints are positioned. You can see that the pin joints are all over there condensed at one point. And if you think about it, if they're all condensed at one point, then this should really behave like a giant clock with multiple arms. Because when this one has to rotate, it will rotate relative to this point, pin joint over here, or relative to these multiple pin joints. If this one wants to rotate, it will rotate relative to all of these pin joints over here. And if we run the scene, the main scene, which is the game scene over there, you can see we get just that. These all start to fly off. And the reason they fly off is because they're actually connected to one each other. Or it was near the beginning of the video, I'll probably play the clip here, that it actually showed them rotating according to their own pin joint. So that's not how we do it. And the way we got it, or the way I got it to work, is that using that exact same script, but we, I, I changed something. I made sure that the pin joint is exactly where it needs to be. And you can see this is how we get that rope. So if you go over here to rope scene prop, I can close this one. You can see that the pin joints are all where they need to be. Granted, they are a little bit off, but you can fix them if you go like this. Right? If you just grab them go like that, grab them like that, and make sure your grid is snapped or your grid snapping is at a, a correct height and correct uh, position, you can easily make this uh, a lot cleaner. Tutorial, I was in a rush. Right, I, I wanted to get to the bottom of this mystery, how to make a rope in Godot. And I really wanted to help other people out by making a rope uh, node, or at least a rope object, because if you search here, there is no rope object. So yeah, and yeah, that's all I did. It's the exact same script, nothing changed. But the only difference is I actually positioned the pin joints in between the respective rope base. And I don't have to do anything here because it's automatically going to be set for me. It will all be fixed for me when I run the scene. And I guess you could manually go over here and set rope base equal to this, right? Oh, no, oh, sorry, we're doing the first one, yeah? We have to do this, then we have to do this, Oops. then we have to do this, and when we go to the last one, which is all the way down here, we can actually go like this, scroll all the way, 18, then we go to 19. We can do that. That's not a problem, but if you want to make a really large rope really quickly, this is probably one of the ways you want to do this. And the second one I tried to do, what I was envisioning was we would have all of these rope bases over here and it would just be zero, zero. And then we could easily just bring in this scene over here. So not this one, but if we bring in this one over here and it would just generate the rope for us, we wouldn't have to do anything ourselves, but turns out, no, that's not the case. And in fact, it looks like some sort of like alien swarm or something. I don't know. And it just doesn't work. And now, of course this is a work in progress. And this is just one of the ways you can make a rope. There are many ways you can make a rope. This is just the one I found, and it's the one I found that you can do quite uh, autonomously, right? Because you can see this one only requires you to position the nodes properly. It doesn't require you to click, 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 you know what I mean? So that's all I have to say. Uh, of course, the code will be on GitHub down below. And once again, I'll just show you what the rope scene will look like. Um, it'll look like this. So you have your rope. And this is, a, oops. And that was the example I just talked about, about the rope scene, the, the one that it doesn't work. It will just act like it's at an angle and it's referencing the angle up here. But whatever, if you just go to the proper one, which is rope scene prop. And I'm leaving the, the broken examples there as well. And oops. Oh yeah, I have one more thing to add. Uh, this video over here that's following my mouse is controlled by a kinematic body 2D. And it's the one up here. Just using a simple mouse movement controller. Um, 
that's all I have to say for that. And the the black object down here is a um, static body 2D, and it's not floating. I just want to clarify that the I didn't position it properly. In fact, I can go over there and fix it right now, in case anyone wants to debate that. Sure, we'll make it go inside. It doesn't matter. And you see, we have a rope. Now you can use this rope for a lot of things, and I'm actually going to be making a separate video on what you can use it for, or one thing you could use it for. So. Yeah, stay tuned for that. And this is how you can make a rope. This is one of the ways you can make a rope. I will definitely try to be making more in the future or different ways you can make a rope in the future. So yeah, that's all I have to say for this one. Have an amazing day.